The other day I was thinking about how fast it says Aquaman can swim underwater in the comic books, and that made me start thinking about how fast things can go underwater, which led me to how fast can a rocket fly underwater, or can a rocket even fly underwater? So I figured I'd just test it out myself. So in case you're wondering, Aquaman can swim about 7,000 miles an hour underwater, which is insane. Nothing else can go that fast. But I got this set up to test rockets. The first test is going to be to see if one of these solid fuel SS rocket motors can even go off underwater. To give this thing a fighting chance, I dipped it in wax so that it'll stay sealed and it'll have a chance to ignite. They're basically gunpowder rockets, so if they got wet, they wouldn't burn. Guaranteed. It worked. Time for the next test. Launching an actual rocket from underwater is gonna be a little more complicated. First of all, the whole thing has to be watertight. So when I built it, I sealed everything with super glue. And after everything was sealed, I gave it a clear coat of paint and then I put the stickers on and it's pretty much ready to go. The only problem is it has this lock ring that holds the motor in place. So in order to seal the motor on this, I'm gonna to have to put the plug in and then I'm gonna to have to swish this around in the melted candles to seal up the end of it so that water doesn't get in the motor. The other problem is I can't just tape the nose cone shut because then the parachute won't come out. So I need to seal this, but I can't seal it so tight that the ejection charge doesn't blow the nose cone off. And the last problem is that since this thing is watertight and it's basically a tube full of air, it's going to float to the surface of the water if I try to put it under. So I modified the engine plugs that hold the igniter in place so that they have a little thing that'll clip onto this little gator clip right here and hold the rocket down until it's fired because the igniter plug gets pushed out and that'll release the rocket and it can fly away. So let's see if this thing works. So why didn't this rocket fly the way it was supposed to when it came out of the water? Water produces a lot of drag, and when this thing came out of the water, it probably didn't have enough speed to have aerodynamic stability. If you want to know more about the principles of that, I'll link a video in the corner. The second reason is because of the wax sealing. It may have caused some thrust vectoring issues when this came out of the water. Basically, if the thrust from this nozzle is modified at all and it's not coming straight out, it's almost like thrust vectoring and it's gonna push the bottom of the rocket off to the side and its flight won't be straight. And even a slight push to the side is gonna make this thing do circles instead of fly straight up into the air. I didn't string test this, so after I sealed the whole bottom section of the rocket and the top section of the rocket, I didn't string test it to make sure that it was still balanced for aerodynamic flight. Which means this thing probably wasn't stable from the start. But the whole point of this experiment was sparked by thinking about how fast Aquaman could possibly move in the water. Do you know how fast Aquaman can swim? Because I do. And if you don't, you should read a comic book. The fastest natural thing underwater is a sailfish, and it does 68 miles per hour, which is pretty insanely fast for a fish that's just flapping its fin back and forth. In the comic books, Aquaman jumps out of a hypersonic jet because he wants to get to the destination faster because they're going somewhere in the ocean, and he's gonna swim there. Well, the jet is hypersonic, and that means it's going between Mach 5 and Mach 10, which is 3,800 miles an hour to 7,600 miles an hour, and he swims faster than the jet to get there which means he's going unrealistically fast through the water. He goes so fast that he's basically magic because nothing could ever go that fast in the water. Do you even understand the amount of physical force that would be fighting against you that would be cooking you alive inside the bubble that you created if you went that fast? 
doesn't make sense. But we've gotten really far away from the original point of this project, which is to see if rocket motors are a viable source of thrust when you're underwater. And they're not. Unless you have some kind of insane system that wouldn't actually work with a human body. So pretty much that means that even though this was a fun test, rocket motors are not what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use traditional forces, like spinning a screw through the water, like a propeller, because then you use the resistance of water to compression to your advantage and you push against it so you can use less energy over a longer period of time. And 2018 is the year that I'm gonna be turning myself into different superheroes. There's a lot of really fun projects coming up where I'm gonna be doing really cool stuff and using science and technology to make myself superhuman. So if you haven't subscribed, you should because there's a lot of cool projects coming up that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Usually at the end of my videos, I put a funny little Easter egg that I got while I was filming, but this time I didn't get any, so I figured I'd use the opportunity to give a shout out to a friend of mine that used to work for some major accounting firms, but he recently started his own because he felt there was a better way. He just did my taxes for me this year, and even after paying him, I saved more money than I would have if I used one of those free automated services. This video is not sponsored. In fact, he doesn't even know that I'm doing this. I just wanted you to see that there's a better way to do your taxes than one of these online systems. You'll probably save more money, and if you want to find out, you can call him. I'll put his information on the screen. Ryan Stauffer, CPA. Doesn't matter where you're on the country, he can probably help you out. He saved me a bunch of money, he might be able to save it for you too. If you give him a call, let him know that I sent you. That's it, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.